Just a few weeks, the Friday night lights will brighten high school football fields around the region. Fans and players alike getting amped for the return of, this, of football. But before we get to cheering on our alma maters, players need to be acclimated to the heat. Chris Hoffman is live in Aliquippa with what players are doing to get ready for the new season. Chris. Well, Ken, this is the best way to get acclimated to that heat. We got the sun being down here now. Quipa is the Quips. They just started practice. You can see, you know, pretty much they got the helmets on. They got the pads on. Everything that's going to get you ready for that real feel of Friday night. And that's everything that is supposed to be going on. We're across the region. Student athletes, they're getting their bodies ready, adjusted to this heat, and trying to get ready for what could be long seasons for many teams in our area. Before anyone can break off that long touchdown run, players need to practice. It's an exciting time, kind of like Christmas for football coaches. With humidity and temperatures making it ideal to search for air conditioning, it's the weather these young athletes are preparing for. Eat Acclimation Week is designed to get athletes ready for the hot and humid days of their training camps and early season games and matches. It's an important time of the year. I think it's very, very important for the kids to get adjusted. We're jogging back, we're jogging back, we're jogging back. So football players will be putting the pads and helmets on for some of the first times this year. The goal is to get them used to these conditions and the equipment. So this whole process is designed to make sure that they're as best possible acclimated for the real thing, you know, next week. This week they will work on drills, conditioning, and the only contact will be for technique purposes. Next week is when the players will lower those shoulders and start hitting for real. We're just watching for those typical signs and symptoms of heat illness and applying the appropriate emergency medical care. When they you know, feel something that isn't normal, you know, letting a medical professional know so it can be evaluated. Coaches stress the importance of safety for each student so they can enjoy their season and stay healthy. I think that this is the time of the year where you know high school football gets started and everybody is looking forward to the season. Uh, any leader, that's your job one is take care of your people and our people are these young men. Now, trainers say it's best for student athletes to stay hydrated using machines like this, and some of that means really make sure they're drinking enough water. In addition to that, make sure they're eating balanced meals. Carbs, protein, that's good to help recover after workouts, but trainers also stress don't forget your fruits and veggies to make sure you're getting everything you need to make sure you can make it through an, a long, grueling season. Live in Aliquippa, Chris Hoffman, KDKA News.